Oh, Tommy, looks like you've got yourself a plan, huh? What are we building today? Well, you know, we're getting a lot of people writing in and they want to know about projects with metal pipe. Okay. Yeah. And it seems to be pretty popular. Why not, right? I mean, very easily accessible, all different sizes. Yeah, you can go to the home center and you can get all the pieces that you need from a couple of inches to a few feet. You can also get all the fittings that you need to put it all together. And today we're going to use three quarter inch black pipe to build a bookshelf. Yeah, I mean, when you combine the metal with the wood, it's sort of an industrial look, which is kind of hot right now. It sure is. So what I want to use for the shelf is this piece of butcher block right here. This is made of oak, small pieces of two by two, glued together, and it's used for a countertop. Now, it could be also used on an island, but what I want to do is I'm going to quarter it. We'll rip it down the middle and cut four shelves out of it. All right, let's get to work. First, we're going to rip the butcher block down the center with the table saw. The gauge block on the rip fence sets my length. Now I can use my crosscut guide to cut the length. We use a hand plane to ease over the edges. All right, Kevin, let me show you what my plan is here for the legs of our pipe right here. We start off with this base right here and a short piece of pipe. We screw a coupling to that so we can attach another piece of pipe, another coupling, another piece of pipe, another coupling, another piece of pipe, and so on down the line. And we can go as high as we want with this. Mm -hmm. At the top, we're gonna use this piece of end cap right here to hold the top shelf down. Got it. Now, each one of these couplings will act like a shelf cleat to hold the shelf into position. One two, three, and then we got one down on the bottom, number exactly. four. Exactly. The idea of it is I need to drill four holes in each shelf. They're all going to line up, but I want the shelf to have a hole in it that's tight around the pipe. The idea of that, if it fits sloppy, then the shelf will rack back and forth. I want to keep it as tight as possible. So I'm going to drive this in. I'll show you what we're going to do. Drive that down until the thread starts to come through. that. So now I should be able to grab that coupling onto that thread and then I can tighten that nice and tight. Now oh, see yeah. that pipe won't wiggle in there at all. So four holes, one in each corner. Right and we do that with a portable drill press. I line the two edges of the drill press up with the edge of the shelf and that will position each one in the same location. Now we can sand the shelves and we'll start with some 220 grit and work our way up to some finer. Now for our finish, we're actually going to apply a wipe on poly, let it dry about two or three hours and then we'll put a second and third coat on in between. While the poly is drying on our shelves, we can now assemble our pipes loosely. First thing we need to do is clean up all the oil residue and the glue that's on the pipes. Lightly sand them, clean them again with a rag, and then spray them with a clear coat of lacquer. We want to make sure we have plenty of ventilation while we're spraying, so we have three fans going and some windows open. Now with our pieces all dry, we can assemble. Now these holes are perfect, Tommy. They're uh, tight, but they're not too tight. We can still turn this pipe. Right, so I drilled them with a one and a sixteenth drill bit, and then I took a little drum sander and reamed the hole out just a little bit. That's 
it. Okay. Beautiful. Not too bad, Tommy, huh? That's a smart looking piece. It looks pretty good and it's easy to build. All right, nice job. Thank you.